Let me see your hands. Hands up. Open the window. Get out of the car. This woman was six and a half months pregnant when she was pulled over by New York State Troopers on March 20th. She alleged that she was forced off the road, pulled out of her vehicle, and then treated roughly by the troopers, resulting in her having an emergency C-section on the same day, resulting in the death of her unborn child. Her attorney says an officer pulled her out of the car, despite passengers in the vehicle explaining Aronchek was pregnant and body slammed her onto the hood of the vehicle. To just unleash such violent conduct, because she's black? She hired an attorney who called for an investigation in an interview with the media, claiming that civil rights were violated and that the child's death was homicide caused by the troopers, claiming that she was yanked out of her car like a rag doll and slammed on the hood of her vehicle. In response, the New York State Police released the body cam footage along with a statement announcing that a quantity of fentanyl and methamphetamine was located secreted in her body. Does the footage they released corroborate her claims or exonerate the troopers. Step out! Step out! The body cam footage shows an officer getting out of his vehicle and approaching her Range Rover, where two other cops had guns drawn on her and told her to get out of the vehicle. The lady then steps out of the car with her hands raised, at which point an officer handcuffed her as he stood against the car's side door, seemingly refuting her claim that she was slammed against the hood of the car. Get out of the car! Step out! Step out! As she was arrested, an officer could be heard acknowledging that he realized that she was pregnant and asking her if she was okay. When you tried running away from me? Because I was getting to somewhere where we can pull over. Hey, partner, you good over there? Yeah. Okay. The issue is you ran. Okay, I didn't run, though. Oh, you did? Stop, did you? Well, I was, I was pulling over. Bullshit. As soon as I found a place to pull Bullshit. over, sir, I'm sorry. Bullshit. What's your name, Officer Andrews? You're a grown-ass adult. Excuse me? You're a grown-ass adult. You okay. know better. And I have a, I have a license. It's in my car. Yep, yep. Listen, you run from me, it's not good. Okay? That's that's the reason here, right? Okay. You rammed into my partner's car. That's I the did reason. not. I was pulling into the... You see me pulling into no. this. No, 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 no. You can stop, okay? Listen, I'm a reasonable guy. You'll learn that. But this is the circumstances that happen. You tried running, and we're going to go for it. Okay. You're under arrest or I'm off the What's your last name? Orantrak. O-R-A-N. Now, understand if you give me a fake name, I'm going to charge no, you. No, no. I, I just tell everyone. My, my license is right okay. on my, my console. Okay. O-R-A-N-C-H-A-K. First name. Quashaya. Q-U-A-S-H-A-I-A. Ultimately, at the end of the day, like I told you before, I'm a reasonable guy, he says. I see that you're pregnant. If you're not good, you need to let me know because you're in my custody now. Your well-being is part of my responsibility. She then replies, I'm okay for right now. You good? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, pardon me. Sorry, I didn't mean to burp. No, you're fine. We, we have our it's a situation that we're in right now, but ultimately, at the end of the day, like I told you before, I'm a reasonable guy. I see that you're pregnant. If you're not good, you need to let me know because... You're in my custody now. Your well-being is part of my responsibility. I'm okay for you. All right. I'm okay for you. Okay. You're gonna stay in this car. I'm gonna check back with you in a minute. At the time of her arrest, she was charged with criminal possession of controlled substances, criminal use of drug paraphernalia, and fleeing an officer in a motor vehicle. She later became unresponsive at the Broome County Correctional Facility and was transported to a hospital where she ultimately miscarried. However, despite the released body cam footage, her attorney continues to claim that she was unlawfully stopped by the state troopers. Here's what he said. There's no doubt that the police's stop and the arrest were unlawful, and we will pursue the violation of her rights vigorously, he said in a statement to Fox News. 
At the end of the day, it's the truth that matters. In my line of work, it's not about just us versus them. It's about the truth. All the time I have people bring me allegations that result in me telling them that I don't believe that the police violated the Constitution. In that case, it happens more often than not. Sometimes you believe there's merit to a case, and then evidence later appears showing otherwise. That just happens. Body cam footage goes both ways. It protects everybody. And in this case, it appears to have protected the police officers from false allegations. The allegation was that this woman was treated like a rag doll, that she was slammed into the hood of a car. The body cam footage from two separate angles clearly shows that that was not true. Get out of the car! Step out! Step out! Okay, I'm going then, to top that off, the lawyer doesn't appear to contest the counter allegations that his client had drugs being transported literally inside her body. Maybe that just might have something to do with the medical emergency that subsequently occurred. Despite this, however, the lawyer persisted in his allegations. In regards to the justification for the stop, there could be something there. We have limited information about what happened prior to the stop, but does that really matter at this point? That's the thing about credibility. It's the most important thing that you have as a civil rights plaintiff. You don't have to be perfect. You can have a criminal record. You can look like a criminal. You can be a good person who temporarily acted like a criminal. But at the end of the day, you have to have credibility if you're going to sue the government successfully. That's the only rule I have for my clients when they get their depositions taken. You have to tell the truth. Any detail, whether important or completely irrelevant, is much less important than if you get caught lying or exaggerating about it. We don't get to make up our own facts. If that happens, it's basically over. You will get destroyed at a jury trial. Here, all credibility has been blown. But it doesn't really matter anyways. The video shows what the video shows. And it does not show an excessive use of force, which was the primary allegation here. But let me know what you think. Do you think that even after watching this video, that the police physically mistreated this woman, that they may have caused her miscarriage? Please make sure to subscribe both here and at the blog at thecivilrightslawyer.com. If you want to help the fight for government and police accountability, if you want to help the effort to abolish qualified immunity, check this out. Thanks to the overwhelming flood of donations that came in to the Institute for Justice as a result of my last two videos detailing the King and Gonzalez cases, they gave me my own donation and subscription landing page so that now we can track how much this audience is contributing to that fight. And they also gave me some sweet swag, including this shirt. So let's keep it going and keep those civil rights lawyers at the IJ working hard. I'll put the link in the description. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it.